Here's a short recap of creating a heads-up display for our drone blueprint. First, import the images you want to use for the HUD. In this example, we use a minimap, a battery, and a speedometer. Next, open the image file for the minimap and adjust the texture tiling method to clamp for the X and the Y. Repeat this process for the minimap overlay texture as well. Now let's create the widget blueprint that we can call WPP underscore drone HUD. Add in an image and set it to use the battery icon we imported earlier. We'll add a progress bar that we'll call battery and set it inside the battery image. Set the color to green and set the background image style alpha to zero so it's transparent. Add in a synth knob and set the medium image to use the speedometer image we imported earlier. Add the medium overlay to use the speedometer's arm and set the value to zero and adjust the minimum angle value until the dial shows zero speed. Then adjust the value to one and change the maximum angle until the dial shows 600 speed. Head to the event graph and in the construction event, we'll set the battery progress bar to one so it spawns full. Then create a custom event called update battery that has two inputs called charge amount and max charge. Divide these and pass the result into the set percent for the battery. We'll also create a custom event called update speedometer with two inputs called new speed and max player speed. Divide these two and pass the result into the set value node for the speedometer. In the drone blueprint, create a widget and add it to the viewport and store it as a variable. In our battery function, we'll use the widget reference to call the update battery event and pass the battery charge and the battery capacity. Back in the event graph, we'll use the tick event to call the update speedometer event from the widget reference. We can get the velocity and pull off that into a vector length and connect that into a new speed pin. Then we can use the character movement component to get the max fly speed and pass that into the max player speed pin. In the user interface material, add the minimap texture and overlay texture and connect up the pins and mask the alpha for the overlay. We'll be using a material parameter collection to adjust values in this material from the drone blueprint. Add the image to the widget canvas panel and reference your user interface material to display the minimap on the HUD. Finally, back in the drone blueprint, we can use the tick event to call the set scalar parameter values to set the U offset, V offset, and yaw values in our material parameter collection. We use the capsule component to get the world location and we can split that and pass the X value divided by the map size to the U offset. We pass the Y value divided by the map size to the V offset. Then we can use the controller rotations Z value divided by 360 to the yaw value. And just like that, you've created a simple heads-up display that has a mini-map, a speedometer, and a battery indicator for your drone blueprint.